the Gosstown Main Street program is part of a national Main Street Association, Main Street America, which was started about 40 years ago. The Gosstown version of it was started in the late 90s as a response to trying to revitalize the village, make it a welcoming place, and really bring that sense of community to Gosstown. I think that through the events that are promoted as well as the economic development activities and the support we give to businesses, it really meets the goals of the Main Street program. As a result of that, in 2007, Gosstown was put on the National Register of Historic Places. So it's not only a business hub, but it's a historic hub of the community. The village area. The village area, yes. yes. I know that there's actually a border for it. And, and there is. It's, yes. it, for anybody who looks um, at the municipal web pages, the border is the village commercial district that you see on the zoning maps. So it's a good frame of reference for people if they ever want to know exactly what we mean when we say the village. It's the village commercial district. My name is Tracy Hutton. I'm the executive director of the Gosstown Main Street program. I'm here with Ellen Vermakowitz. She's our president of the board currently, president of the executive board. And so um, we just kind of want to welcome you to the Gosstown Main Street program and tell you a little bit about what we are. Thank you, Tracy. And Tracy, you're relatively new to the Main Street program as our director. Uh, why don't you tell, tell us a little bit about yourself and your sure. background? So I have about 20 years of experience in municipal planning and administration. So I have a little bit of administration background, but a lot of background on community development, community activities, and planning in terms of economic development. So I think that that mixture of experiences really brings a lot to the Main Street program. Very good. Thank you. Um, what's the function of Main Street? What are we so doing? So Main Street's based on four points. Promotion, design, organization, and economic vitality. So we sort of base everything we do around those four points um, and keeping always keeping those in mind as to not only how to improve the business environment or the economic vitality of the downtown, but how to improve Gosstown as a whole as a community and really bring that together. And, and that community development, I think, has been really important. Yes. Uh, the activities we do each year, mm -hmm. that'd be, except for COVID, <laughs> we're going to mm -hmm. skip COVID year, and um, encouraging people to vote small, to, to not vote, to shop, shop small, small he, right here in the village, I think has done a lot to bring that community spirit alive. And it's always been here, but it gets us, gives us an opportunity to come together. Mm -hmm. For, for the various activities and purposes here yep. in town. Um, how does promotion help the So village? what we like to promote is, is the village as a hub of economic activity. And the way we do that is through the website, through social media such as Facebook, and through the activities we promote during the year that really brings people to downtown to show what does the village have to offer. Um, I think that you know some of those like Small Business Saturday, we're really focused on shopping small. And the new program that we have with the Main Street money, doing you know little scavenge hunts and stuff where people can get little certificates mm -hmm. that they can spend on Main Street. I think those types of activities really do promote um, the village as an economic village. center. And, and encourage people to come down here. That's right. And uh, do some shopping. Yeah. Take your family out, spend some time down here. And we're always looking for volunteers, especially as the season's opening up. So it's easy to step up if you'd like yeah. to get a notice and be able to volunteer, help us out. That would be great. And we tend to repost a lot of the information that the village businesses put out. So if they have restaurant specials or they're looking for help wanted, we try to repost those on our Facebook page to get people as much um, traffic as they can. Right, very good. Now, what does the design, how does design impact the village? So. As a historical village, we really like to promote um, the, the visual assets that we have in, in the village. And so one of the ways that the Goffstown Main Street does that is through a facade improvement grant program. And that is a matching grant. So we, we match up to 50% to a cap um, of what the business was put in. Often this is used for signage. I know there have been some that have used it for their outdoor dining spaces through COVID. And um, in 2020, we did issue about $7,000 in those design grants. And we have two teams that are involved there. We have a design team that actually reviews the grants. And then we have an art team that sort of guides the design team and what they're looking at, as well as the art team doing promotions, um, helping us with our ads and helping with the Uncommon Art and the Common mm -hmm. event that we have. And so we have two teams that are involved, the design team and the art team.
Very good. I know one of the things that we helped with the grant was uh, Vixters. Awning. Yes. Yes. Awning and the outside line. Yep. So we helped with that. And there were a number of other things. And the Village Trestles outside dining, we helped right. with that. And a lot of that. signages for... Um, Night owl quilting, their signage, right. and, and, and others. Right. So. And I, I think it was important to the board, uh, the Main Street board, to financially give some mm -hmm. kind of assistance during this past yep. year. And uh, as long as our funds are available, we'll, we'll continue, we'll continue. Yep. To, to do that. Um, how does uh, Gotstown Main Street do the organize? What's the so, organization? As we talked a little bit about volunteers, we really try to partner with the community in terms of bringing in volunteers for our events, bringing in volunteers to help us, you know, get the word out with businesses. We always invite people to join the board. We're, we're mm -hmm. in need of members usually, and it's nice to have board members that are not only business people, but members of the community and a real wide range of skills and knowledge set so that um, we can have a diverse discussion when we, when we talk Absolutely. on the board. Um, and we, you know, we also just encourage people to come down to the village and patronize the businesses. We have several eateries, we have several insurance companies, we have shops, we have hardware stores, we have dentists, we have eye care. So it's really important that, you know, we really tell people you can do a lot of things in the village that you may not think you can. And so by getting people mm -hmm. down here to show what we have to offer, um, you know, we really like to organize those people together as partners for the community, not... Right. Uh, we, we really do prefer the term community partners because that's what we all are. Right. And, and also, I know I used to walk the village. I would drive mm -hmm. down from the house. And it's a easy place to walk around. There's lots of loops you can walk, and it's relatively flat. And yes, there are sidewalks. So um, there are sidewalks. it's a nice place to walk yes. uh, down here as well. And it's a beautiful view from the bridge, just to stand, or from Rotary Park, just yes. to stand and kind of... Ponder life for a moment and relax and take it easy. Yeah, absolutely correct. Uh, what are the economic benefits exclusive to the village, Gostown Village? Area? So one of the benefits is we do have several events, and those are the golf tournament, Old Home Day, Uncommon Art on the Common, Pumpkin Regatta, and then there's some smaller events like Friday Night Under the Lights and Shop Small Saturday, and we do a... a pumpkin hunt in the fall and an Easter egg hunt in the spring, you know, smaller things for, for the families to get involved. Mm -hmm. um, so this, these events kind of drive the economy downtown and bring people in so that they can see what there is and then come at other times as well. And I think that um, through creating that critical mass downtown is what makes these, these businesses thrive. And it's the importance yeah. of, you know, as new people move to Gothtown and, and realize what's down here, it's important to bring those new community members in as well as the existing community members to really create that integration. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. I do know many times on, uh, we have a number of Facebook pages mm -hmm. around in Gothstown, and I see people, I'm new to the community, uh, I'd like to get involved, how can I do that? Um, folks joining Main Street or becoming involved just as a volunteer, you don't have to join the board right yeah. off. But it's a great way to meet community people um, and get yourself involved. Yeah. You know, tiptoe into the, the yeah. involvement of the, the town. It's a wonderful place to, and to we're be always, involved in. And we're always available. You know, if you want to call and ask us about anything, look at the website, send us an email, smoke signals I respond to. So any way that people want to get in touch with us to, and we reach out to you as well. But as long as, you know, if, if there's a way, we'll... We'll get in right. touch so that we can really bring those volunteers in and bring them, right. make them feel part of the community. Absolutely. And I'm always big on, as an individual, reach out to, mm -hmm. get involved. Don't sit back waiting for us to grab you. Come, reach yeah. out to us. Um, Facebook, web page. I know a lot Whatever. of people can be shy. They don't think that they have something right. to offer. Everybody has something to offer. Everybody has some sort of skill that can be utilized either on the board or as a volunteer. Right. So even if you think, well, I haven't been in town very long, we still want those ideas. We want you here. And yeah. so we encourage people to really come down and... And, and, on a, and the office wait. is open. Huh? The office yeah, is open the every day open. From, from 10 to 2, Monday through Friday, most of the time. If I'm in the village during those hours, I put up a sign with my cell phone number so that you can find me and I can come back to the office. But I'm always available for when, you know, people want to just sit and chat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I love it. And it's an interesting little office. We had a wonderful uh, mural on the wall yeah. that uh, was made by a local printer. And it's got 
sort of a, a combination of historical shots of the village area. And, it's and we also really have nice to see. artwork from the local artisans. We have a program with the art team called Art on the Walls, where we, three or four times a year, we, we rotate out art both at our office and some other businesses in town. And so there's always something new to come and look at in yep. the office as well. Yeah, very good. Um, and that's it. Well, thank you, Tracy. Thank You're welcome. Much. So, and that's our introduction to Gosstown Main Street. And we look forward to seeing people come out this year to our events. Yep. And uh, golf tournament is first, May 28th. Here we go, out in Stonebridge, right here in Gosstown. Yep. So, thank you both. Thank you.